Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Cavre, a couple that loves to play board games. And collecting mushrooms. I've never done that before. I have. Today we're doing a how to play of Wonder Woods. This one. Boom. Wonder Woods. Wonder Woods is published by Blue Orange Games and is designed by Eli Thomas Wolf. In this game, you'll be foraging a bunch of different mushrooms, trying to collect and strategically grab the right ones because some are worth more than others. And at the end of the game, when those points are revealed, whoever has the most points for your mushrooms you've collected wins. But let's jump into the table, into the table, onto the table, to learn more about this game and how it's played. As always, you'll begin by setting up. You'll place the four mushroom patches in the center of the table and place a number of mushrooms of the corresponding variety next to each board according to your player count. Every player will then receive seven baskets, five of which they'll keep while the remaining two will go to the center of the table. You'll then prepare information cards. There's a set for each mushroom type. You'll shuffle each set and place one card face down under the corresponding board. The secret information card will correspond to how many points this mushroom will be worth at the end of the game. You'll then shuffle the remaining cards together, ensuring you keep them face down as to not reveal any information, and deal out a number of cards to each player in accordance to the player count. You'll select a first player and you're now ready to begin. The game is played in several rounds until two of the mushroom patches have no more mushrooms left. At that point at the end of the phase, the mushrooms are scored and the player with the most points wins. Each round is played in two phases, the harvest and the information exchange. In the harvest phase, you'll take turns placing baskets to harvest mushrooms. On your turn, you'll select a patch and place baskets on the leftmost empty column in order to collect the corresponding mushroom. You have to select the leftmost column and place baskets equal to the number of spaces in order to claim the mushroom from that patch. If you cannot or do not want to place your baskets, you may skip your turn. Once everyone has skipped around, the harvest phase is over. At this point, bonus mushrooms are awarded. The player with the most baskets in each patch gets an additional mushroom from the corresponding patch. If there is a tie, no bonus mushroom is awarded. Also, if at any point mushrooms run out of the patch, no additional mushrooms of that type can be claimed. Now, after bonus mushrooms are given out, the harvest is over. You'll take your baskets and proceed to the next phase. Information exchange. Starting with the first player and going in clockwise turns, you'll make a decision. You can place an information card from your hand face down in front of you. Doing so will grant you an extra one of your baskets from the center. Or you can simply skip your turn. After all players have made their choice, all players that took a basket flip the card they placed in front of them face up, revealing the mushroom and the value. In a two player game, you'll also flip the card from the pile left over from the setup. These cards give all players additional information to help them guess the value of each mushroom. Now after the reveal phase is over, the first player token is passed and a new round begins. You'll keep playing until two patches have no more mushrooms. You'll finish the harvest phase and then the game ends. At this point, you'll turn over the information card under each mushroom patch. The number indicates the value of the corresponding mushroom. Each player will calculate the total by multiplying each mushroom by its value and adding up the total number of points. The player with the most points wins. If there is a tie, the player with the most mushrooms will claim the victory. Will you be the best mushroom forager there to be? I hope so. I hope so. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. If you have any questions around this game, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. We'll be sure to answer them. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And again, like Ilya said, leave comments down below because we'd love chatting to people about board games. But do you want to know what we thought? Click that button right here and go to the review of Wonderwoods. Wow. Bye.